here this evening, it is with great pleasure and sadness that we are going to sway in two new commissioners while we're letting two older commissioners go out and become citizens again. Uh, but at this time, we have our Honorable Tara Allen White to uh, do the ceremonies for us. And I don't know when you want both of them to come at the same time, or you want to separate them? All three? All three? Okay. Okay. I forgot so about the three. Joiner? Okay. Joiner? <laughs> Abigail Jones. Abigail and Okay. Each of you do solemnly swear that you will support and maintain the Constitution and the laws of the United States and the Constitution and laws of North Carolina, not inconsistent therewith, and you will faithfully discharge the duties of your office as Commissioner of Princeville for two Ward four, Ward one. You do? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> To please bless the refreshments for us. Let's pray. Most gracious, all wise and eternal God, so again, come boldly before your presence. As always, God, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. And God, we thank you for the power of prayer. God, we stand before your presence. God, we stand before you with grateful hearts. God, we thank you for this time which you've allowed us to assemble. God, I pray that you would give us a heart to serve your people. Serve your people in fairness. Serve your people in justice. Without malice. Without uh, uh, friendship. But, oh, God, we want to just do your will. Yes, God. Yes. God, we pray right now that you will bless, bless the uh, refreshments that we're about to receive. Yes, God. God, I pray it be a nourishment for our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> yeah, <well. laughs> Board of Commissioners meeting is now called to order on this Monday, December 16th, 2019, at 7 o'clock p.m. As uh, Commissioner Jordan, please lead us in prayer.
Let's pray. May the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight. May the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, God. We come before you this evening to thank you for giving us another opportunity to transact the business yes. of Princeville. And God, we ask that we do it the way that you would do it. We ask that anything that we say and anything that we do, and however we act and however we handle the business of this town, God, yes. will be the way that you would do it, that it would be pleasing in your sight. Yes. We thank you, God, for each citizen that's represented here this evening, God, that's showing concern for our community. Yes. We thank you for every person that's represented here, God. We come in not as onlookers, but coming as being a part of the solution. We ask, God, that you would help us to be diligent in all that we do and all that we say. And we ask, God, that you would bind us together with a love that cannot be broken because we can only transact your business if we do it in love, yes. peace, and in harmony. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen. 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 Please have a seat. Uh, before we go into the pledge, we'd like to recognize our outgoing board members. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll start with um, Commissioner Sanders. If you come forward, please. <clears throat> This is a plaque from the town of Princeville for your dedicated service over the last what, year. Yeah. Okay. Presented to Commissioner Ken Saunders for dedication to the town of Princeville December 16, 2019. Mayor and Board of Commissioners. Thank you so much. A lot of times people don't understand the sacrifices that elected officials have to make in order to make the town better. Um, a lot of people come in complaining, mumbling, grumbling, and crying as if we're not doing the very best that we can. We're not perfect. We don't claim to be perfect. But what we're doing is trying to do the very best that we can, first and foremost, to make sure that the town of Princeville is all that it can be. Make sure that our citizens get everything that they deserve at this point, we're not there, but we're on the way. A lot of good things are happening. And we thank this man for his dedication and his Amen. pushing mm -hmm. in order to move the town, the town of Princeville forward. He's very busy. He goes up to Maryland just about every week. He goes down to Florida, but he's got Princeville on his mind. Mm -hmm. And that's the dedication that we need. Uh, we need good people running for these offices. Don't sit back and complain if you're not going to try to be a part of the solution. Amen. And we thank you again for everything that you've done. Thank you. Well, to the uh, Board of Commissioners, uh, to Dr. Knight, Town Manager, and also to our wonderful attorney, and also to the citizens, I want to say thank you so much. Uh, it's very important to me. Uh, I've kind of reached a milestone in my life. and. Uh, can't believe I just turned 60. A couple of days ago. Yeah. I turned 60 because you know, my parents ne never made it. And uh, you know, I just got out of surgery on Thursday, so you know, my chest and everything is still hurting. I can't hardly eat, but, but more importantly, I, I want to commend Commissioner Jones for a couple of reasons, because we worked very hard. And we remain friends and we're going to be friends. But more importantly, we brought out a lot of people to vote. Mm -hmm. A lot of people voted. Mm -hmm. And we should take this momentum for many reasons. For number one, when you vote, you have a say in your government. Mm -hmm. And you dictate the terms of that contract. Amen. And what's also so important, too, is to remember that we have this census coming up mm -hmm. in 2020 which is the most important piece before we have to go to the elections in November. That's right. Because when you think about the census, you're thinking about power and you're thinking about resources. And until we get to that point, and we have to answer that census, and everyone in that home and your residence must answer that census, not just one person. Because that's so important because what affects Princeville is public policy. Mm -hmm. And on my board of commissioners here, we say that all the time. 
public policy is key. And we see the effects of it. We see it at the county level, level, state level, and we see it on the federal level. So I ask all of us, and I will be driving force behind it, because I'm going to open up my office down on Main Street, and you can come in there, and you can use all my computers. If you don't have computers at home, you can come in, and you can answer the census there starting in, Jan I think, was it January? Mm -hmm. So to all of you, it was a ride. Mm -hmm. And this is just a part of the journey for me. But it ain't over. Because I will be back, I promise you. So thank all of you, okay? Mm -hmm. So with us is Shay, say commissioner or golden platter. <laughs> I guess for this season, let's say commissioner. Please come forward. Dedication, hard work, service to the people, but everywhere we go, Commissioner Bullock is known as the Golden Platter. He even sings for the people, make them happy, hoping, hoping they'll open their pocketbooks and send some more money down to town of Prince But he's, he's been struggling for the last year or so, beating cancer, beating cancer, never gave up, never missed a meeting that I can recall, maybe one or two over the last three years because of his love for the town of Princefield. Uh, we need people who love the town of Princefield to make sure that we stay on track. Even though he's not on the board now, I know he knows, still knows my telephone number. He's going to wear it out as usual. And I appreciate everything that you do. Continue to do a good job. First of all, I'd like to say this has been an honor and a pleasure, almost like a roller coaster. But echoing what Commissioner Sanders has said and what this board is challenged and charged with, I only got one thing briefly to say. We need to remember who we are. And if we can remember that and know that there's power in numbers and unity, this ain't got nothing to do with no black power, no white power. We need to realize we can get anything we want to get and deserve justly if we can unite and be one voice. Mm -hmm. The saying of being mm -hmm. the oldest settlement in North America is by blacks. You have no idea the significance of what that says and what it means. And until you know that and act accordingly, you won't experience too many changes. But once you get it in your crawl, you know there's power in that saying. Ain't nothing can stop you. I've experienced it not only as a member of the Platters, but I knew and I know my place. I know from whence I come. And I talk proudly about Princeville. I just want you, the new members that's coming, that's coming on board, if you can, do not dwell in the politics. Dwell in the service, the stewardship that you owe to these people that have put you in this position. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody mess with you, with your intent. That's what Princeville has been lacking for the last 30, 40 maybe decades, they've been politics. You've got to come together and make them, they serve for your pleasure. Hold them to it. You'd be surprised where you're going. Never before in my life have I seen Prince feel so close to accomplishing some of the things that our forefathers had dreamt of. And we thought tonight, her staff and her leadership, our competent lawyer here, we don't know how close we are to getting what we deserve. There's 168 million floating around somewhere, another 60 somewhere. But if you ain't getting it fast enough, come together, unite, sign the petition, give my hand to God, you'd be surprised how fast you would get that. But you've got to be one voice down here. I can't do it by myself, but you can best believe I will be talking in Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know. <laughs> Only. <laughs>
13,000 hits. Um, we've reached 45,000 pages since August promoting the festival and the Black Farm Tour. And if anybody doesn't know about it, can you pass these around? Take one and um, pass the, the, the pass it back. On the front, it just says run, walk, jog, ride, but it's a festival after a 5K run, a 10K run, a 30-mile bike ride, and a 66-mile bike ride that's hitting four farms in Edgecombe Town County, four black-owned farms. Um, and I don't know if you can, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm messing up here. I don't know if you can see, but this is Heritage Park, or as Google calls it, Riverfront Park, but y'all got it right, it's Heritage Park. I've already spoken with the sheriff. And we're going to have a partial road closure for the 5K and 10K run that would start at 9.30. Um, by 11, vendors can come in and set up. At the back of the park, here's where the levee and the river would be. We'll have vendors all around. The stage will be where the baseball field is. The playground, the beautiful new playground that you put up. We've got a couple people donating big inflatables so the kids will have a kid zone, a bouncy house. There is uh, a space for the mobile museum, and I'm requesting if the mobile museum will be on site, that will be awesome. It would be amazing, and there's going to be some paperwork up here about vending, because this is an economic this is an economic this is an economic opportunity. <laughs> this is why we're doing this. Two reasons: economic opportunity for the people here. Well, there's more than two reasons exposure of Princeville and its history, and politics follows the money. Rocky Mountain is on the cusp of being gentrified. You all are next. And if you don't direct how it goes, they will snatch this riverfront property, turn it into lakefront property after they've told you it's worthless, and turn it into the gold mine that we know it is. So my thing is, we already know what the playbook is. Ever since they gave the, 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 the trinkets to the Indians, and stole the whole country. So we're going to tell them, you can't come here with trinkets. We know what this is. And guess what? Just based on the history, we're going to bring 5,000 people here just to hang out in the park. The, the, the Friday night will be staged out of, out of Rocky Mount. There's going to be a meet and greet, a bar crawl, and a block party. Um, and then Saturday morning, things come to Princeville. Sunday, back to Rocky, Rocky Mountain for a brunch. Already, 
I've got a national organization called the peoplesfoundation.org. It's a national form organization that connects farmers and veterans with funding from USDA. This team has, there's 13 members on our last conference call stretching from Mexico, Zimbabwe, California, Philly, Detroit, Boston, uh, Maryland, Virginia Beach. They have a uh, $800,000 grant to connect farmers and, and, and veterans with USDA funds. One of their mandates is to have a yearly farm conference. They picked Prince for Homecoming to have their yearly farm conference. Great. That's how this has already gotten out. So they're going to have their farm conference on Friday during the day at the Rocky Mount, either the event center or Imperial Center, depending on how many people sign up. Then they're going to take a charter bus Saturday morning, and the four farms that our bikers are going to hit, they're going to hit. They're going to bring the resources from the USDA to those farmers mm -hmm. so that they have, and their, 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 um, their uh, four areas that they want to focus on, God in the universe works amazingly, mm -hmm. fit exactly with what our farmers, Felton Wooten, your very own son, Felton Wooten, <coughs> Abraham Wooten, Wooten's great, great nephew, mm -hmm. he's aquaponics. That's their first area that they're bringing of expertise. They didn't know this, okay, and I didn't know them. High tunnel, one of our farmers has just put up a high tunnel. 21st century farmers, that's our very own Kendrick Ransom, okay. Mm -hmm. Air legacy farming, that is Mr. Wooten, and our first farm stop, which is uh, uh, Willis Tillery's farm on um, Leggett Road. Mm -hmm. So that's the first connect that we've made. The second connect is a gentleman out of Raleigh, that got a grant to do entrepreneurial seminars, 12-week entrepreneurial boot camps, and he wants to bring them to Edgecombe County. They're free, it's one day a week, they feed you, unlimited number of people can come, and we're gonna do three levels of entrepreneurial boot camp. A youth boot camp out of North Edgecombe High, and I'm talking with Donnell Cannon tomorrow, a new business owners boot camp, and I would request that we use your space here in Princeville, if that's okay. I don't know who Which I asked one? about that. The senior, I guess oh. the senior center. Miss Worsley, can I use your space? <laughs> what time? I don't know, but we'll talk. Okay. See. And then, um, and then uh, established business owners boot camp, and we would do that out of Rocky Mountain. Okay. But that's available to anybody. And if you look on the back of that pamphlet, Vending for Princeville uh, citizens is free. Usually a vendor fee is anywhere from 50 to, it could be as high as $500. They just had the Black Business Expo at the Marriott in Durham, and the vendor fee was $600 just to walk in there. Of course, we would never do that, but for Princeville, it's free. Um, and then I have up here, and I'll, I guess I'll leave it on the table where the cookies were, a little uh, email that I sent around with information. If you want to vend food, all it is is a $75 fee to the county, not to us, and then they give you a checklist. You set up your tent, the fire marshal comes out and inspects your tent, and they make sure you fit the checklist. You don't have to do the safe server, and if you know how to bake, barbecue, make lemonade, and you want to make some money, you're going to have hopefully 500 starving riders and a few hundred runners and everybody else coming out there that want to eat. So we want you guys to make the money. I have invited other vendors, but I want Prinsol, and it would be wonderful to me if there was actually a tent. I did this little mock-up. When you come in, if the mobile museum is there, right where the concession stand is on the other side, if there was a big Princeton tent for all the Princeton vendors, because as soon as you walk in, bam, that's the first thing you see. And you, I asked uh, Eric Evans how many people a, a, a license could you know, one license for how many people? He said, I don't know, a thousand people. One person has to get the license. It could be a team. And then you could have as many people under that food license. So if you want to have a principal food vending tent, nobody even has to come out of their pocket but a dollar. Okay? And so that's what's happening. We've got, uh, we've communicated with the sheriff about road closures. 
sheriffs for, for security, and everything is on schedule. So I just wanted everybody to know what was happening. There's a lot of excitement, and it's all around the fact of Princeville's history, exactly what you said, is exactly what you said. People are hungry for that, particularly in this day and age when you got this craziness of the White House. So um, if there's any questions, I, I'm going to leave this. Like I said, but this is the letter about the uh, vending. And this is for the council, so you can look and see what our tentative schedule will be, so you know what's going on if you want to pass it around. Questions from the board? Questions from the audience? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Mr. Bridges. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I've been asking a lot of questions coming in and suggesting everything. And <clears throat> I'm recommending to this new board uh, <clears throat> help Sheriff sure Atkins get a police department station in Princeville. Look at the water system. Water system in Princeville, the minimum is $90. Over here in Tarboro, 35, no more than 40. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. And now let's get the museum uh, uh, they going. You got a building set up there in 1885, bunch of junk. No way in one. <laughs> Nobody there. You walk right in one door, come out the other. Move that junk out of the way. 1885 more. Put, put the building up there if you want to see it there. And Freedom Hill, where the, where the town was founded. You got to sit down there in the way of the museum. Put the museum to work so people can, can do things. Go in one, nobody there to tell you anything. Uh, all right. So now, the Abermall have invited me. I'm not going there. Abermall is the bridge there. They, they, they have invited me to Christmas dinner, sent the menu, and all of that. I'm not going there. And, and, and apparently, yeah, yeah, that, that's all neat stuff. Money thrown away. Uh, for nothing. And uh, um, <clears throat> get the museum ready. Get it, get it, get, get it ready. You got money enough. I understand that 20, uh, uh, 28 million dollars now the governor has, sit, the governor sitting on. Get a committee to go see the governor. Get Toby Fitch, he's up there in the Senate. Go, go up to the legislature to talk with him. I went up there come back with five million dollars to prison and put in a running water, sewer, paved street, curb and gut. You can do it. Get up or don't run for nothing. Get up, don't run for nothing. <laughs> well, I see. Okay, so and uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad to see Church department here, yeah, he's here in person now, tell him, because uh, you got 35 miles an hour on Main Street, 35 miles an hour on Greenwood, 258, they're just up there. <laughs> you get out there, they'll run over in two yellow lines. The state, the state, the state take care of that. It's a deal they'll kill right on Greenwood Boulevard. And Mr. Porter here, tell him to pull the deal off the highway. You don't have to bear it. The state will do that. The state come along there, they take care of the highway clean every day. And the deer kill there on the highway car turning out, they're going to meet somebody head on. Put them off the road. Don't bear them. You don't have to bear them. The state will bear them. They come in there all day every day, go down the road on the highway and clean them. They're they glad, they glad to do that. But don't. I'm going to be voting against it to kick you out. And I hope I'll be able to do that. I'm 102 months now, but my brain is still 21. <laughs> and I'll be, I'll be, I'll be right after you, right? You got money enough to spend the hip, kick your wow. <laughs> I use it. I use it. Thank hey, you. I want you to know it. And I got some friends. That right, Dr. Gale? That right, Dr. Gale? That right, Dr. Gale? That right, <laughs> that right, Dr. Gale? <laughs> <Please. laughs> <laughs> look around. That's her nephew there. She looking around. She here. 
Announcements uh, in your package. You have the Edgecombe County Entrepreneur Organization. Of course, the Martin Luther King celebration is coming up. Uh, they are asking for recommendations for the Citizen of the Year Award. And also, they got the schedule of events in addition to uh, sponsorship levels. Uh, Dr. Knight, any idea how many staff would like to attend? Um, no, not at this time, Mayor. I will um, get back to you ASAP. All board members, are y'all going to participate in the banquet, MIK banquet? Yes. Okay. So we have at least five there, and I know we have, how many staff do you have? Um, seven. Seven. So we may want to look at, if possible, the $1,000 gold for the table of 16. What's the pleasure of the board? What do y'all think? I think that as many uh, board members and the um, staff that are, would like to go, the uh, possibility <coughs> should be made available to them. So I agree with you there. Okay. Anyone else? Questions? No, we don't need to Okay, next item on the agenda, we have a thank you card from the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, the Tarbury Edgecombe Chamber of Commerce sends you a great big thank you. With members like you, we represent a significant force and as a group, we continue to make a positive difference, providing a substantial business community in Edgecombe County. Through your support, we make a way for businesses, institutions, and individuals to be known and promoted. As years progress, we hope to continue earning your trust and your loyalty from the Tobler Edge Chamber of Commerce Board and staff. Monthly meeting date change. If you look at your calendars for January, of course, the third uh, Monday is Martin Luther King celebration. So we could meet on the 13th, which is the second Monday. Is that okay with everyone, 13th? 
January 13th, second Monday, same time. Good. You good? Okay, same time. The 13th is our next board meeting, January 13th at 7 o'clock. Okay. I'd like to say happy birthday to our newly elected commissioner, Mr. Alvin Jones, December the 6th. Our outgoing commissioner, Mr. Kenneth Saunders, December 9th. And our town clerk, Natasha Barrett, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She'll be tw tw 22 tomorrow. <laughs> okay, we have next the call and post sign up. Dr. Knight, you want to expound on that? Um, I'll, I'll speak on that. The call and post sign up is for um, anyone that wishes to be notified um, in case there's any type of um, anything going on in the community in Town Princeville, whether it's um, you know having to do with water, any announcements <coughs> as far as um, activity that's going on in the community, they can sign up. We have a sign up sheet outside, um, right outside um, where you sign up with citizens sign, sign up is. You can sign up there, leave your information, your telephone number, and we'll make sure that if there's anything that we need to contact you on, you will receive a call from us. Okay, make sure you sign up. There's a lot of information that's going out. You don't want to be left out. Next, we have the African American Cultural Celebration. We have been invited to present in Raleigh on January 25th, 25th at 11.45. Uh, so if you're not busy on that day, please come up and support. And now, the winners of the Yard, yard Decorating Competition. Commissioner Jordan. Okay. Let me first of all thank all the citizens that uh, signed up to be a part of the yard decorating contest. And this was just a, a friendly and a happy uh, seasonable time that we wanted to do something just to, to lighten the load, just to, to build camaraderie, just to say, hey, we, we're happy about something. So we had several citizens who signed up to uh, be a part of the yard, yard decorating contest. And um, I would like to first of all, um, thank those of you who have won. And the first winner is in Ward 1, and that person is Miss Regina Cobb. Oh, I think she said she wouldn't be able to be here because her daughter had a cheer, uh, had to cheer tonight. But I'll take, I'll be taking the uh, $100 gift card to her on tomorrow. Anybody know her? Yeah. Check with her to make sure she get it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Ward 2, Miss Dina Robertson. Yeah, come on. Let's give her a hand at the end. Thank you so much, Dina. Your beautiful yard and your sportsmanship. Congratulations. Thank you much. All right. All right. Uh, Dana, you're one of our church members. They expect 10% higher. <laughs> uh, Ward 3, uh, Mr. Ernest Harrell. And he's not going to be here this evening because his uh, son-in-law is in the hospital and he went to visit him. But he had, all the yards were beautiful. And then Ward 4, Doretha Shaw. Ward, I'm sorry, Dorothea Shaw. Look right at it. Ward 4. Congratulations. She just out the hospital and she was able to decorate her yard. Congratulations. I had a lot of help. <laughs> Good deal. That's what it's all about. That's another one of my church members. <laughs> well, he wasn't a judge, though. Let me make that clear. But another thing I do want to say. You're welcome. When, we were, when the judges and I, the judges were uh, Miss Tina Parker and um, County Commissioner um, Viola Harris. And we were going around looking for the addresses to do the judging. And we noticed that there were a lot of citizens who don't have your address posted so that it could be visibly seen. And I'm sure you would like to say something in regard to that because it is very important that your addresses are visible, uh, especially at night, during the day too, uh, but especially at night. There were so many of them, we had to really search for them because I didn't know exactly where the houses were, I used my GPS. 
But a lot of them, the dresses were just not visible. Let's make sure that we do look and get our dresses so that it can be seen in case of emergencies or anything. Thank you guys so much. Next year, we want everybody to decorate those yards so that we can have a really, really big contest. Thank you so much. Thank you. <clears throat> the next item on the agenda we have in, are there any adjustments to the agenda? Hearing none, we'll move to presentations. We already did that. Thank you so much, Dr. Robinson. Is there a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Second. Then properly moved and second that we approve the agenda. Are there questions? All in favor, use the vote and sign aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Ayes have it. <clears throat> Next, we'll move to department reports. Senior citizens. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. And to you all, do I have any? I think you have my report in front of you. Do you have any requests or any questions? Questions for Ms. Worsley? We certainly want to thank you for what you're doing. <coughs> and it, it, we understand that you're. Uh, parents are ailing, and we continue to move forward with the senior citizens, so we certainly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Our prayer and I would like to ask for you all prayers. My dad was put in hospice on Friday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, next item on the agenda, we have the Edgecombe County Sheriff's Office. <clears throat> Good evening, everybody. Uh, Good evening. My name is Mike Tagnus. I'm the communication director for uh, Sheriff uh, Clee Atkins. Um, I did email out the report like I normally do every month. Do um, you guys have any questions? I guess now it's time to ask about it. Um, I know there was some insight everybody was wondering about um, how we do the reports. Um, Princeville, I actually have set up in our CAD system, so everything that I pull and you guys receive is strictly Princeville only. So we have everything set up. So that way when the dispatchers place it in there, there's a code that it goes to. So when I do a report, it only pulls calls from Princeville. It doesn't pull anything from around Princeville. It doesn't pull anything from the county. I'm able to separate the two. Um, just to give you a quick insight, um, last month you guys had 215 calls for the town of Princeville and then the total calls for the sheriff's office. So the county minus Princeville was 3,373. So I'm able to pull all those stats separately. Question from the board. <clears throat> So we want to appreciate, thank you all for the increase in the house and, and school checks. It went up to 108. That's outstanding. That's right. uh, traffic stops. Uh, if we could get that up a little bit, we have 18, but like Mr. Bridges said, it's a racetrack. And I know it's everywhere you go. So it sure yes, is. you can do it very much. Appreciate it. Anything else for the sheriff's department? Thank you so much. No, you're welcome. <clears throat> yes. Okay. I'd like to also thank all the citizens and the friends and relatives who came over to the Princeville Christmas Parade. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it, and we're looking forward to doing it again next year. Thank you so much. Next we have the Princeville Volunteer Fire Department. Um, I don't have anything other than, um, but I did fail to um, add to my report. Uh, we will be getting the siren back working uh, within the next week, so if you hear the siren go off. Um, we used to have a up for ratings inspection, which in turn affects um, your homeowner's insurance, and so the siren uh, is an alarm device, so uh, that's coming up. So if you hear it blow, it's not like a, everybody get out. It's just a notification for the firemen that we do have a, a fire-related call. So medical calls, it will not blow with fire, accidents, stuff like that. So y'all ready for the inspection? Oh. Okay, it's in January? It is January 8th. Okay. Uh, I, 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 sure. I do have a question. There are times that that we may hear gunshots fired. Uh, what procedure would you guys like for us to do in regard to that? Um, is it okay that we call you guys? Yes, or, and, and sometimes <laughs> I may not even know where they're coming from. I can only tell you where I, where I think. Yes, ma'am. So can you speak yeah. to that a little bit? Oh, the best thing for your citizens is to call. Call them. That's what, that's what we're there for. 911 there. We'll, we'll get um, officers there as quick as we can. Um, if you know the direction, how many shots. A lot of times, how many shots is, is good also. And if you can tell what type of sound it is, 
sometimes that's helpful too because it would be a high power rifle or maybe it's just you know some type of handgun and if it sounds like it's going away or coming coming towards you um, one of the things that the sheriff did want me to since you asked that question did want me to let you know that you know, when we have a situation like that in our CAD system we have a new uh, new text messaging that we do what we use for the fire department but we've added this for shots fire like that in Princeville. Mm -hmm. So when a shots fire goes out, we actually have a command staff logo that we add to the CAD system where it does a sense of text message to the sheriff and all of his command staff so we know something's going on in Princeville. Mm -hmm. So if we have a shooting in the county, Princeville, Rocky Mount, anywhere it is, they're being notified right away that something major is going on. So most of the time, they're already responding. Mm -hmm. So. Another question. Now, if someone said something about there's a training, a, a place where, where sheriffs or police or someone does training, and sometimes shots, those shots are from training. Is that true? Was it? No, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. Now, Tolbert has, right, they have a firing range back there behind the Walmart. Behind the Walmart. Yes, ma'am. And if they're doing nighttime shooting, yes, you're probably going to hear those. Because remember, night, right, your sound's going to travel. So a lot of time, and that's, that's another reason why it's nice to know where it's coming from because we'll be able to investigate. What about like maybe six, five or six in the morning? Would that be a... No, that would not be training. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to be training right there. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yes, ma'am. Back to the fire department. Any questions? Uh, any updates on the sewage issue? Chief? Uh, none of this. No, none of this? No, okay. the toilets are working, so when they're working, we just... We can go with it, so. Okay. Thank you. All right. Public Works. Any questions? Mayor. Yes. This is just a point for the season. Um, fire ex ex inspection up in, in the town hall, town hall, but the administration, <coughs> I think it's third floor, for fire alarm. Everybody's turning the heat zone there and burning stuff, so. You can get free fire alarms. Um, where is it? Up? You can get it from the fire department. Fire department, mm -hmm. Princeville. Tarper got them too. Okay. Got them. Yeah. yeah, if you need fire alarms, just reach out to the fire department where you can go over to second floor emergency management office. Right. That's what he's talking about. Does that include all carbon monoxide detectors? It does not. Okay. It does not. But those are fairly reasonable at low. Okay. Let's see, 20 books, I believe. Who would have dealt with the highway? Sir? <laughs> I said, who would have the highway? The public way to keep it. Stay in bed. All the green was one of them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Town manager regarding the public work. Yes. Right. Uh, I had a talk with uh, um, Principal Walker, mm -hmm. and we know that <coughs> Princeville. Schools is supposed to be opening back in January, mm -hmm. and and they are asking, they're expecting a lot of a lot of people to be. Uh, I'm not sure if they the grand opening or whatnot, mm -hmm. but they've asked that we try to make sure that Walston Street mm -hmm. is clean, and you know some of that debris is cut down, mm -hmm. and just make it very very nice and very polished looking because we want it to we want it to be attractive anyway, mm -hmm. but especially with something like this with the school coming back and we have so many different people coming in, and so we can. Make sure public work really cut back a lot of that that growth, and I think it's right, especially right at the corner. There may be an empty house there. I don't know if the cold has been. Uh... So um, thank you so much for that, Commissioner mm -hmm. Joyner. Um, I think <coughs> communication with Principal Walker and we have been collaborating in preparation for their return, mm -hmm. and so public works will be ensuring that the area is clean. We've also talked about the lighting. Sheriff Atkinson and I were talking earlier, and he's been in communication with her talking about the camera system that they have internally to see if they can let some of that be external. So there's um, multiple conversations that are transpiring in preparation for their return. Okay. Good. Other questions on public works? Next item, Edgecombe County Disaster Recovery. Questions? Not much change from the last time. Mm -hmm. okay. Next item, finance reports. Questions? Report. Mm -hmm. Very good report. Thank you. 
Excellent job. She is. Next, we'll move to the town manager report feasibility. So, uh, Mayor and Board of Commissioners, you have before you the feasibility study. Um, since the last time that the board met, um, four firms have submitted their qualification packets for consideration for the feasibility study. And what that will look like is them going in to assess the 75 homes to see whether or not they're structurally sound for elevation. So tomorrow morning we will reconvene to interview two out of the four firms, Edgecombe County and the town of Princeville. Questions? Okay, so now if they are not structurally sound, there is funding available for elevation outside of the um, the new, new funds, so that's what Encore is here for this evening, that we will have further discussions about the availability of additional funds and options for those citizens whose um, structures are not sound enough for elevation. Okay. Next item. So just to update on the last time that the board met last month with the sheriff agreement, um, Sheriff Atkinson is in agreement with the um, contract, and so we're ready to move forward with those um, hours and days discussed and approved by the board of commissioners. Okay. Any questions? Okay, next item, we have no old business. New business. Is there a nomination for Mayor Pro Tem? I would like to make a motion that I nominate uh, myself as Mayor Pro Tem. Is there a second? Second. The problem motion and move and second that Commissioner Mark be the Mayor Pro Tem. Are there questions? Let me back up. Any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Mm -hmm. I nominate myself. Okay. Is there a second? I second. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. We have two nominations on the floor. All in favor of Commissioner Mark, raise your hand. Raise your hand high. Okay. Yes, you have to raise your hand. That's two. All in favor of Commissioner Joyner, raise your hand. That's two. And I'm going to vote for Commissioner Joyner. Commissioner Joyner is the new Mayor Pro Temp. Uh, the next item is adding an additional bank signer. So, um, Mayor and Commissioners, I will humbly ask the Board to approve on this evening an additional bank signer. It will allow the Finance Department and the Administration the flexibility of ensuring that checks get t um, signed in a timely manner and that if you're not available, at least we'll have increased options um, to meet the timelines that some checks require. <clears throat> Questions from the Board? Do you have any incidents where, where um, can you cite any instances when there was a challenge with getting checks signed on a, a timely manner? Yeah, there's been several instances where Miss Gina has had difficulty getting um, checks signed in a timely manner. Most recently, the sheriff department, those deputies didn't get paid in a timely manner because we couldn't get anyone here in a timely manner to sign the checks. So I would just humbly ask if you could. Um, add the Mayor Pro Tem, um, Commissioner Linda Joyner, to be the additional check signer. And it would give us the flexibility, you know, to have someone to get here in a timely manner. And it wouldn't put the pressure on two commissioners. What's the pleasure of the board? Move that we add an additional um, check <coughs> Is that second? That's second. Okay, then probably move in second that we add an additional check signer. And who would that be? <coughs> I ask that the mayor pro tem, uh, Commissioner Linda Joyner. All in favor of a new check sign? Let's do that first. A new check signer. Say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Ayes have it. All in favor of Commissioner Linda, Mayor Pro Tem Linda Joyner being the next additional check signer. Say aye. aye. Opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Thank you so much. Next, we have the Citizenship Award. So, Mayor and Board of Commissioners, as I bring to your recall that last February, during our 134th 
um, Founders Day celebration, we bestowed a 2019 Citizenship Award to Deacon Mr. Roger Sutherland mm -hmm. uh, under the recommendations of Commissioner Jerome Marek, and he was elated, and we still have the memories of his acceptance on that evening. And so we want to keep that momentum moving in our community. And so we now are preparing for the 2020 Citizenship Award. And we have the nomination form readily available for anyone who wants to nominate someone from the citizens. There is a criteria and rules that must be adhered to. And so all of that is captured on the form. So we're excited and we want to keep this momentum going. And so when we transition to the new town hall, there will be a plaque that says Citizenship Award for the town of Princeville. And so we're asking the <coughs> mayor, you and the board, to support this wonderful um, venture for the town of Princeville. Question from the board. So the citizens get to make the nomination? The citizens or the board. Okay. The citizens get to make the nomination, the board finalizes this, the decision. Okay. And we'll present this in February. At our February meeting, or if there is a community event in February, it can be either or. Okay. So we have the Edgecombe County Citizen of the Year and the Princeville Citizen of the Year. Okay. Questions? Other questions? Okay. Hearing none, we'll move to the executive session and we'll let our attorney speak on the executive session. With regard to executive session, we just want to make sure that we are cognizant that this is governed by NCGS 143318.11A15 and 6. Mayor, I will allow you to read the rest of the statute, but that is applicable to A, properties that we will review and the eligibility for services under any new program, the CDBG mitigation program that is going to be covered under confidential information that we will be talking about private citizens and private property. As to B, community parcels, we will be talking about the contractual nature of the board entering into any contracts with regard to parcels. And C, personnel matters as governed by that subsection 6, we will be talking about those issues as well. And may I will allow you to state, you know, state the uh, proper um, just the statute okay. for the record, please. And that is to prevent the disclosure of information that is privileged or confidential pursuant to the law of the state of the or of the United States or not considered a public record within the meaning of Chapter 132 of the General Statute. Is that motion to go into executive session? So moved. So we're probably moving second. Let me go into executive session. Are there questions? All in favor, use the voting sign. Aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Aye. Sabbath. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.